Okay, you guys have literally been after me for years to do a Let's Play. All I can tell you is, be careful what you wish for. Because in the years since I was doing game reviews, I haven't gotten any better at this stuff. And you may recall, I was pretty bad. But uh, here we go. I'm going to capture my favorite game of all time. I consider it the most awesome game I have ever played. Rainbow Six Vegas. I originally played this on the Xbox 360 and just loved it. Um, at some point, Daughter Fauna Joy bought me the PC version and it took many, many years until I had a computer powerful enough to be able to play it. But uh, now I do, which is good because my Xbox 360 has gone away of all things. So here we are. Rainbow Six Vegas. We're in San Joshua de Mosquera, Mexico. Logan, St. Joshua of the Mosquito, I think. We have uh, Gabriel, wake up! We're after Arena Morales. Our team is Gabriel here is and Khan. Arena is a terrorist, and we're supposed to bring her in. It would not be the first time terrorists use coyotes to sneak into the United States. Yeah, terrorists will What's find the call on to Arena? Sneak into Six the ones are breathing. Oh man, more blood in than out. The animation is really good. Of course, I know they use motion capture, which is why Gabriel's speech looked so authentic. Now, I enjoyed all of the Rainbow Six games, uh, whether they were PS2 or original Xbox or whatever. Uh, and uh, part of that was because. I've always been a huge fan of the Tom Clancy books, and I thoroughly enjoyed the Rainbow Six books, which were actually based on the games. And so, uh, I enjoyed all of the uh, uh, Ding Chavez games. And when Vegas came out and I saw how much they had revamped it, I was a little Roger, hesitant to the old for one Spanish thing, mission. only having a team of two instead of three seemed like it might be a little limiting. But uh, I said, it's Rainbow Six, it's Tom Clancy, I'll give it a try. And oh my word, I love this game. I don't know how many times I've played it, and it just never gets old for me. But, uh, now you may have heard they were unable to drop my team here because of an RPG. So, I have to make my way to another place. Which means... Doing things like that. So, now I have played this game enough that I know where all the bad guys are. So I'm just going to go ahead and zip on over here to this wall where I'm supposed to crouch. We ha This is a tutorial level, in case anybody was wondering. And uh, it's teaching us how to crouch, how to do all of this stuff. And uh, how to shoot these guys. There's an alley running parallel like that. You can use it to get around the tangles and nail them on their blind side. So now I'm supposed to go around this way, which is teaching me how to use my map to find alternative paths to do stuff. So just to satisfy the game, I will do that, even though I know I can sneak up there and get that guy. The game wants me to go this way, as you saw from the indicator, and uh, we do not defy the game. The game is the master. And where is he? The nice thing is we got this nice red spot here. That shows me where he is. 
What about your mother? Yeah, this is the health system. Um, your vision gets all obscured. I do not like it. It's the only, one of the few things about this game that I really don't like. Uh, there is also, I want to warn everybody, there's also going to be some language in this game. Uh, we're trying to be quote unquote realistic, and so these guys use a lot of socially unacceptable words. I don't know exactly how I'm going to handle that yet. But uh, I will think of something. I'll either issue a warning or I will find a way to uh, bleep them. Uh, we'll see how tedious that gets. Now, it also wants me to go over there and flank these guys the same way. But these guys are so easy to hit from here. It isn't necessary. Like that. And another interesting thing about this game. I can see his speed there. And if I shoot his speed enough, tango down. So, I can go this way, but it isn't necessary. But I will go this way just to get rid of that thing on the screen. <clears throat> I'm heading for an old church or mission to, to uh, hook up with my team. Again, this is a tutorial level. Yeah, I'm supposed to stop here and peek around the way I've been doing all along. And now... I'm coming up on something else the that Joe's going to tell me about. Throughout the building. I recommend using your silencer. That way you won't alert the tangos when you take them out one by one. So, I put the silencer on by going like that. And let's go get these guys. Oye, ¿sabes dónde va la chava esa, Irena? No, ¿por qué? Es que quiere seguirla? No, hombre, es que nunca habíamos tenido Good tantas job. armas y hombre. I'm not Thank reading you. any movement. They don't know Llevamos you're there. Llevamos dos semanas así. Me alegra que esto acabe. Y a mí. Pero me pregunto lo que hace acá tanta gente. Now, Deja de preguntar cosas. Shows me sí, mi vida es más. Two guys in here. There's also another door over here. Again, this is tutorial stuff. I'm supposed to open the door and blast these guys. But I like to do this. Ahora, dejen paso. Did it miss both of them? Really? Well, you know what? Why do it right when you can do it again? Really? Yeah. Don't leave the top of your head exposed. At least, don't leave it exposed to me. Now, the rest of this house is clear. There's a ladder to the roof over here. Yeah, I have played this game a lot. And uh, there's a guy up on the roof who doesn't hear me come. So I can also take two, three round bursts to get him. Why? I'm not sure. But now I get to learn how to repel. So, I really like all of the visual on on this game. I mean, they the went point. all out Don't forget to, look for alternate paths to make it look area. good. Yeah, I know. There's another path over here. Around the bad guys. Okay, and I don't know why they disappeared because I haven't shooted them yet. So... Nobody there. Putos colombianos. Andan por ahí como si fueran nuestros dueños. Pagan bien, amigo. As no te encabronan, déjales. Que les chinguen a ellos. Estarán muertos en un par de. Well, that was awesome. Do 
more over there? It doesn't show. Okay. Now, does this have a scope on it? Yes, it does. I like having a scope. I like being able to do this. Take that guy down just by shooting his feet. Now, I am out of frag grenades, but I have some smoke grenades. So, and as you can see, the game wants me to use one. So let's do this. There's a guy up there. Now he is. And I can use my thermal vision to find the other guys. Like this. Huh? Okay, there's a blood spatter there, which means I got it. Or, oh, pardon me, Tango down. So now, I love I love the way my team is going to be talking. Uh, they're going to be talking about Tango pacified. Uh, and, uh, that sort of thing. Really? Seriously? How many times do I have to shoot his face? That guy was starting to hook me. Okay. Here comes a message. Sorry about that, but the first LZ was way too hot. We're inbound and we'll secure the rooftop of the mission. Meet us there. Roger that. Okay. Climb over that. There's the mission. Whoops. I hit the wrong button. Let's try this again. Okay. That is... Hey, who's doing that? He is. Oh, well, now, why didn't you say so? Let's try this again. I think I'll toss my own I'm not so sure you have it, but, yeah, like I said. As I said, I don't think you guys have me covered. Yeah, there's still it's still way too hot for me down here. Let's see what I can do about it. Where are you? Reloading. Where are you? There he is. Did I get it? I'm going to guess that I did. Okay. Let's head on over here and meet our team again. Now up on the roof, we're going to learn how to direct them and how to tell them where to go and who to shoot and all of that good stuff. So, here we are. 
Glad you made it, Keller. I thought you took a hitter off the chopper back there. I have to admit, when I saw I that my team was only two guys instead of three, like in the older games, go, go. I wasn't sure. But these guys are worth a dozen of those others. Come on, you. Stick your head up. Thank you. I'm getting lethal out here. Where do we go? All right. Now we're going to be in position. In position. Booyah, baby. Because there's some over here. Again. I have to sit here for a while and let my health recover. Anybody else? There is one over there. Somewhere. Where is he? Okay. Come on, dude. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Ah. Okay. Where are you? There you are. Much easier than doing it alone, eh, Keller? Sir, we should regroup. Yeah. Okay. With you, sir. Hit the it. regroup key. Now we go downstairs, and pretty much everywhere you go, you're going to encounter some tangles. And uh, so. The biggest part of this game is directing your team and helping them figure out the best way go, go, go. to stay in cover and take out the bad guys. So, I'm going to hang out right here. And wait for them to come through that gap. So, waiting, waiting, waiting. Like that. One of the more interesting things about this game is the bad guys do not behave the same way every time. They, they are likely to appear almost any they they have been randomized to the point where you can't it's not like some of the games we that I have played where you know exactly where they're all going to be sometimes sometimes there will be one who is predictable but for the most part you have to be on your toes that, because you don't know where radios. you're coming from. That's one of the things that I really, really like about this game is it's not exactly the same way twice because the bad guys are randomized. I also have to admit, the bad guys in this game are a lot more intelligent than they are in some games I've played. Now, we saw one guy come running up into my face. But uh, that was unusual. Logan, uh, for the most the part, they're very the intelligent, and most of the time they're smarter than I am. We can reach the wall with so, the now Demo. we're learning Demo. Yes, one sir. way of getting through stuff. They're going to set a breach charge and uh, blow that door open, along with the two guys behind it. So, these guys, yeah, yeah, my team is also extremely smart. They, and they're, they're way better shots than I am. Uh, they have been programmed to do smart things, like taking cover, like figuring out when to shoot an enemy, um, it is one that's some of the best done AI that I have ever seen on both sides, frankly. That's one of the many things that makes this game so awesome in my estimation. 
So, now, we got tangos in this room here. Logan, I'm reading heat signatures behind that door. Your snake cam will let you see what you're up against. And, yeah, this is going to teach me how to use my snake If there's another door cam. there, you can use it to survey the room from multiple angles. So, we have two guys over there. Now, I will pull out. And uh, I will push the wrong keys, as you saw. And I'll go around here and check this door. This is how they want you to do it. So, okay, I've got another one there. So I'm going to tell my team to set up at that door. And when they are ready, I'm going to tell them, open and clear the room. So, clear. I'm gonna open the door and take care of him while they take care of the other two. Well done, Logan. Why, thank you. Get over here. Now, come follow me. So, the next one is a little more difficult. And again, remember, we don't know where the tangos are going to be. There's a bunch of them in this place, both upstairs and downstairs. And they're randomized. So that. You have to kind of plan when to have the team open the door and all of that good stuff. There's a guy patrolling here. And he's going this way and that way. He's striking a pose right now. Uh, as you can see, I think he's trying to do the hustle, but he doesn't have any music. So away he goes there. Now he'll be coming back. So I'm going to tell my team to open and clear. I'm going to open the door and you see these guys. Now you can hear what my team is doing down there and how efficient they are. These guys, again, I really can't praise them enough. Come here, you. Stand still so I can shoot you. Okay, I don't think I hit him. He ducked down just as I fired, but I got a blood spatter anyway. Um, and he is not moving now. Where's this guy? Never mind. Get over here. So, now he may still be over there. This guy is notoriously hard to get. Let's find out. Doesn't look like he, he often hides behind there. And every so often, one of these guys will just sit there quietly until you come to check on him, and then he'll blow your face off. So, you have to watch for that. However, yeah, there he is. Okay. That illustrates. Another basic principle of this game. There's always one more. I don't care what you're doing, how many you've Rogue. cleared out, there will be one more, and you have to go find it. Now, what's, notice this. Fast rope down. The teammates are standing by. I have to tell them to go down. Oh, damn. What other oh, direction is there to go? But anyway, that is the end of that segment. And... So, with that, I'm going to stop for now. I will see you in the next episode. I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, I'm enjoying it because I get to play my favorite game. So, until next time.